Good morning. Welcome to the Third and Fourth Angels Ministries. We want to open up this morning with a word of prayer. For those who are present and those who are viewing, join us as we begin our prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, bless my lips this morning, my voice, and may the meditation of my mind be focused on you. Help us to focus in the times we're living in. Help me to uplift you in scripture and voice. Bless those who are viewing, those who are present, afresh with thy spirit. In the name of Yeshua we pray, Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> Our scripture reading this morning is found in Matthew chapter 25, and we will be viewing verse 7. Matthew chapter 25 and verse 7. In reading and your hearing. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. Why? Because Christ is coming back. May I hear an amen? Amen. Thank you. This morning we will present the Philadelphia Church and the Laodicean Church. We will do a similarity in regards to comparing both of these churches. This is a prophecy that will continue to the second coming. As we continue as well, we also like to invite those who are viewing. We will be holding a seminar next week, Friday, February the 22nd at Vespers, beginning at 7 p.m., ending at 9 p.m. On Sabbath morning, February 23rd, 2019, we will begin at 8 o'clock. And it will end at 7 p.m. Fellowship lunch will be held at 1 o'clock. I'd like you to remember that that lunch is going to be nice. A very unique lunch. By the way, it's located at the Farmersville Community Center, 623 North Avery, Farmersville, California, 93224. You can put that on your phones or you can put that on your GPS. It will take you directly to the location. If you have any questions, Feel free to call 559-329-1448 and ask for Amanda. She will direct you if you have any questions, any other ideas you might have that you need answers with. Once again, the 34th Angels Ministries presents the time of the end. And the Hebrew number 4150 is a moed, referring to the time now in regards to what is coming. We want to welcome you once again, and as we turn to the scriptures, we'll begin before we run into the fake. I want to share. They just added one word, ladies and gentlemen, in regards to our books and in the messages that have been given to us by the prophet. Now, what I want to emphasize here is that please take notes. Get your papers. If you have no paper, ask one of the deacons that's there sitting there. Yes, hand her a piece of paper. She was asking. Thank you, thank you. And don't forget to, if you don't have a pamphlet, get one. I would like to advise you to get one so you can date it, give the topic and the name of the speaker so that you can study it all over after Sabbath or during Sabbath or through the week. In reading your hearing, they just added one word to change the whole thought, the original testimonies as shown said. The church of militant equals is not, and there's the word, not, the church triumphant. They added one word, ladies and gentlemen, and what they did is thus. The church militant is not the church triumphant. So as we are in the churches, we want to say that we are the church militant. Present tense, yes. But the Seventh-day Adventist church and the remaining of the denominations in the world do not become the church triumphant. Number one, the Philadelphia church, the members that see the message, grab the message, are the five wise virgins. They see the message. They see the urgency of what's coming in giving and preparing to receive the seal so they may be able to give the message. And continuing and repeating, the church militant is not now the church triumphant. Rather cute, ladies and gentlemen, because they removed this information. Isn't it? So they are still victorious as they claim. No matter what the Lord says in 200 other testimonies, they will bet their life on that one. 
Your reference is found in the Review and Herald, Volume 3, page 89. Review and Herald, Volume 3, page 89. And if I may, I can pull it out and share with you that you can find it right here in Review and Herald, Volume 3, page 89. <coughs> October 17, 1893. Testimonies to Ministers, page 21. That one, they will quote and quote and quote. It is not, and yet it is. Let's go on. In 1894, remember that the Church of Middleton is not the Church triumphant, present tense. Because the Church, excuse me, because the carnal, proud, haughty, and cold are in the Church. This is referring to human beings. Literally. The church militant is not the church triumphant. Review and Hill, Volume 3, second quote is page 410, November 17, 1896. Focus the dates. The answer in regards to our reading as follows. What is the straight testimony to the Laodiceans given by the people of God in the shaking chapter, Testimonies, Volume 1, page 179, your second reference, Review and Hill, Volume 1, page 32. Is it not that they are finished? Yes. Because the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, is not in the Seventh-day Adventist Church. So you'll find the reference in Testimonies, number 18, and you will notice what has happened. On page 129 and 130, Jesus Christ had left the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And the Holy Spirit was quenched. Okay? Continuing, the testimony on which the destiny of the church hangs is found in Testimonies, Volume 1, their book, page 181, early writings, page 270. You can also find it in the 1858 Great Controversy in its original writing, where it really comes from. And continuing, therefore, go ye out to meet him, referring to Yeshua, ladies and gentlemen, Christ, Object Lessons 406. And a brand new movement takes their place. 1911 Great Controversy, you'll find it in 464. In the original book, in the original text that was first dictated, and then they went ahead and rewrote it into the 1911 Great Controversy, which is not correct. But you'll find it in the 1884 Great Controversy, and it's found on page 298. The wise, the wise, wise virgins join this movement which is a procession, it is a company that's coming together all over the world. Christ's Object Lessons 406. This new church, it's, it, in other words, there's not a new church that is forming, ladies and gentlemen. In other words, they are gathering together in correct scripture and joining that procession that's already been in existence from the beginning of time. This is the issue. There's no new church organization. It is a transition of coming out of the fallen churches, joining that procession that's given the message already, the wise virgins are learning the message all over again. Bear with me. And through this transition we will be tested and we will join that remnant which is a procession that is now being tested and is making a remnant. Okay? It is the right information, the right character. Okay? Justification is character. Righteousness by faith. Once again, in reading, this new church is composed of only sealed saints, ladies and gentlemen. The first time they are sealed saints is found in early writings, 35, 37, 39, 52. You can also find it in Great Controversy, 1858, because that's where the original writings are coming from. And I will leave you that homework for you to do. I've given you plenty of work to do. Now it's time for you to do your homework. Preacher, preachers, pastors, laymen, I don't mind who we are. I'll respect you. I'm not looking at degrees. I'll respect with regards to what you are saying. But I am not a, a respecter of persons who want to preach and teach air. I don't respect that. I'm kind about it, but I will say enough is enough. Now... You will find these references also in the 1858 Great Controversy. Okay, all these references. And you will make the decisions for yourself. Sometimes I believe it's better to study instead of listening and hearing. But now you got the info. 
And continuing, note, experience and views, that's where you'll find it at also as well. Page 1 to 127, and 1858 Great Controversy, page 133 to 304. This is the correct writings, ladies and gentlemen, and those who are present, pres present members. We have only been working on this for a few years, so we may need more time before we are sure. Now, the jewels is you, ladies and gentlemen. Early writings, page 83, 100. The company, early writings, 88, 240, 242. All this, ladies and gentlemen, is referring to messengers that we need to study. Early writings, 103, 105 to 107. The remnant. Early writings, 247, 255. 261. Now remember, in early writings, these pages here are found in the 1858 Great Controversy. Okay? Because in the, eight, in the early writings is the first part right here, Experience and Views. The second part is early writings, which is actually two books that have been compiled together. Thank you. The church militant. So few left that militant against the enemy. The leaders unite with the world and turn the weapons of warfare against the church of militant. Be afraid of them, ladies and gentlemen. They would tear down that which God would restore by the Laodicean message. Testimonies to Ministers 22 to 23. Now remember, Testimonies to Ministers is a compiled book. You cannot trust that book. I'm not going to go into where you can find all the information correctly. That will be in another study. But I want to share with you is compare Scripture with Scripture. Please. Testimonies to Ministers is a compiled book. There's correct information in there and there's error, okay? So careful. Now, the church steel militant are only in that hollow square. Is all that are left. The rest have sold out. Be afraid of them, my friends. Page 22. In other words, your leaders and pastors have gone with the flow. They have sold out. In other words, they sold you out. They sold us out. This is why now the members within the Seventh-day Adventist churches, Christian denominations, Catholic churches are now beginning to come out because they are doubting in regards to, is their church the church? Ladies and gentlemen, we understand as well as ourselves that you are looking for His church. Number one, you have to look at Christ. You have to follow what He has asked us to follow. Okay? We are now in the last hours of earth's history. Okay? So the wise, foolish, the, wise, the foolish virgins of the world and the wise will come together and they're going to bump heads because they're going to say, well, we had all the message all these years. How, how can you have the message? The wise wake up. They want that extra oil. They're going to receive it because they're digging and turning the pages to find out the truth. They're comparing scripture with scripture. That's what's the key. Defining what is correct. Here a little, there a little. Turning and wondering and asking. Is this correct? Comparing it with other literature, with other Bible references, maybe, or looking it up in the Hebrew or the Greek. Continuing. How do we know? Testimonies, ministers, page 21. Where they added the word now is a fake. Because in 1891, every member of his church, militant, must manifest the same qualities. That's that's a uh, prerequisite here. If we, excuse me, if he would join the church, triumphant, your reference is FCE 179, therefore, you do not belong to something that you have to join. If you were the church, triumphant, you would not have to join. That's a very, very important key point here. And remember, we're all being called out. Christ is calling us. But the Father's calling us out. And He's pointing us to who? Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Who forms this movement? Who forms this new movement? It's you. Because you're studying the Scriptures. Now you're transitioning to that remnant. But you have to join the procession first who's given the message already. And now you're going to learn from them who have had an experience in Scripture, in the original writings of the prophets. Continuing. This new line, revival, men of clear understanding, lead out. Testimonies to Ministers 5.14. Men of understanding clear, uh, lead out. Okay? 
And this is what's occurring here because they're receiving the early and the latter rain. Okay? They're studying. And they're realizing that time is short. And that we have to develop his character. What time is this? Lead out in a work of thorough reformation. I see a crisis come into line. Testimonies to Ministers 514. Review and Herald, Volume 6, page 332. It is in a crisis, the great final test comes, when it will be too late. Christ's Object Lessons, page 412. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. By far the greatest number will not credit the solemn warning. Ministers will warn the people not to listen to them. In other words, to not listen to them who are consecrated in the truth. The ministers will ask and guide you not to listen to them. This is already taking place, ladies and gentlemen. Will surprise the false teachers who are saying peace, peace, and safety, mercy. Sudden destruction cometh upon them. Now is the time to arouse from their slumber. Without delay, secure the oil. You need the latter rain. You need that extra oil. Testimonies to ministers, 223. The Lord will raise up others. Review and Herald, volume 3, page 18. A2, 144. Seventh-day Adventists shall be brought down to hell. Review and Hell, Volume 3, page 69. Prophesied August 1st, 1893. The prophet says, He will take His Holy Spirit from the church and give it to others. Review and Hell, Volume 3, page 273, 248. Written in July, 1895. And raise up others. Now He has no use for you. S.G., 2, page 226, 246. The third and fourth angels' ministries would like to improvise, do your studies, replay the studies, but most of all, get you a good Bible. And remember, time is running out. In other words, it takes a long time for character to develop, ladies and gentlemen. So when you get your scriptures and you're reading your scriptures, ladies and gentlemen, it takes time. It takes time for this message to lay in our citadel and finally we accept it. It takes time. Our Savior is not going to push. He's going to let us work in His patience. He says, Beloved, above all things, I pray that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. In Revelation 14, 12, Here are the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Elohim and have the testimony of Yeshua HaMashiach. In Luke chapter 21, it says, in your patience possesses ye your souls. Patience. In Matthew chapter 21, I mean, Matthew 25, excuse me, verse 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamp, or lamps, took their Bibles, okay, and went forth to meet the bridegroom, Yeshua. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. The Holy Spirit was not with them. They were still in the holy place. Verse 4, But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And this is the transition we're in. The world is tarrying. They're falling asleep. So now a rise of urgency is coming and disaster. Now look at verse 10. Matthew 25, verse 10. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Ladies and gentlemen, verse 10 is referring to the close of probation. The close of probation. If you'd like to take a reading in Revelation chapter 8, please do so. It's referring to the close of probation. The seven last plagues began. They take place in one year all over the world. The trumpets work simultaneously with the seven last plagues. Let us close in prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, thank you this morning for your warnings. Thank you for your love. And thank you for shaking your people up all over the world. We ask an outpouring for the ministers the laymen, the evangelists, the medical missionary workers, literature evangelist work, workers, and Bible workers. 
Bless them afresh with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Not because they're perfect, but to help them to reach perfection, your character, and to empower their witnessing. We praise you this Holy Sabbath for what you have revealed to your people in these last days. Bless them and guide them throughout the week. In the name of Yeshua we pray. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and may you have a blessed week.